What it do YouTube, it's your boy Kate Otaku and welcome to this month's Otaku Collection. I bought a lot of manga this month, probably the most amount of manga that I have bought in a single month before. I feel like this month I was just extremely lucky when it came to finding manga. I found some good deals at various book offs for a series that I've been searching for. I also found an amazing listing on OfferUp for a series that is kind of rare and hard to find at the moment. And not to mention, Right Stuff also had a Viz Media sale at the beginning of the month, so you guys know I had to hop on that as well. That being said, I do have an extreme amount of manga to show you guys in this video, so let's just hop straight into it. Now the first series that I have for you guys is actually a series that I've been seeing all over TikTok, Instagram, and I believe it's getting an anime adaptation pretty soon as well, and that's Call of the Night Volume 1. So Call of the Night I saw at a book off not too long ago, and it was a couple dollars off, and I said, you know, why not give it a try? A lot of people are talking about it, so it must be good, right? And it looks like a really interesting series. I don't know too much about it, but it definitely looks interesting enough for me to give it at least one volume. I don't know why I do this, but this next series is probably going to be a little controversial for you guys. I say this every time I show this series, but it's Rent a Girlfriend Volume 12. I know what you guys are thinking. Drop it. It's trash. It's kind of enjoyable, though. I'm gonna be honest. It's a little enjoyable, especially with where it's at right now. We're getting some more fun moments, for example, with this volume, it's specifically about Sumi, and it's, you know, it's been a lot of fun for me. When it gets bad, I probably won't read it anymore, but right now, it's not too bad, so I still recommend it up to volume 12. I don't know about the later volumes, but up to volume 12, I recommend it. Alright, this one's not as controversial as Rent a Girlfriend, but a part of me feels like it's in the same genre, so I actually have volume 1 and volume 8 of Masamune Kun's Revenge. I'm gonna be honest, this genre of like romance where it's just like trash romance is kind of fun for me and I don't know what it is, but there's, there's a certain charm to it. Yeah, I know it's not realistic. It's not meant to be realistic. It's literally anime and manga. I watched the first episode of this anime and it was just kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. So because of that, I set out on a journey to actually collect all of these. If you guys don't know, these are extremely hard to get nowadays. People are scalping them for like 60 bucks a volume, 40 bucks a volume. And I got lucky finding these at a book off for about eight bucks a piece. So hopefully I can continue my luck and find some more at book offs. And if not, hopefully I can run into a deal online that isn't too outrageous. Now this next series is another one I just got a great deal on and I just couldn't pass it up. I went into a Barnes & Noble a couple weeks ago and I saw their sales rack and they had volume one of spirit circle and then i also found volume six of spirit circle at a book off so these volumes actually cost 13 bucks a piece but the first volume i got at barnes and noble for like six bucks so i was like why would i not give it a try it's also another short series it's six volumes long so i said let's give this one a try it looks like an interesting premise and i haven't heard anyone talk about it and i wanted to try to get something that isn't really mainstream so i thought you know what i'll give it a shot Let's try to find the volumes for these ones as well because they're also out of print and you know It makes it a fun little journey for me to try to track down all of these volumes So the next volume I have for you guys this month is volume one of black torch So this is another series that I just ran into at a random book off and I thought why not give it a try? It's only five volumes long. I've heard mixed things about it Some people love it some people hate it, but I thought it's only five volumes So how bad could it really be? I mean, you could argue that it's pretty bad because it's only five volumes and it got canceled. But I don't really think that's the case, considering that a lot of people have good things to say about it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. I'll collect it. If I love it, I love it. But it's only five volumes. I'm not losing too much out of collecting it. So the next series that I have for you guys is actually a bit more mainstream when it comes to the manga sphere. This is a series that I know a lot of people are collecting. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Right Stuff had a Viz Media sale. So I had to hop on it and get more volumes because I know I'm gonna love this series anyways. And that series is Doro Hedoro. I have volumes two through eight right here. I just know I'm gonna love this series. That's why I started collecting it plus it's really thin volumes so I feel like I'm gonna fly through these volumes and I wanted more to read than just the first volume that I have already this next series is another one that is getting pretty hard to find these days and that's siren volumes 9 and 15 so when it comes to siren I actually really love the premise and the first volume of it I read the first volume quite a few months ago and I remember really enjoying it but it's tough to really find a lot of the earlier volumes I've struggled to find volume 2 3 4 and 5 I believe and that's really the only reason I haven't continued to read it i could read it on the viz app but i just like reading physical volumes and it also makes it more of an adventure for me to go out and find these things and it's that much more satisfying when i can finally read it physically all right guys so as you can see this next series that i collected is quite hefty 
Um, it's for good reason though. It's a series I already know that I enjoy. So I just went out and started collecting all of the volumes since I finally got my hands on the earlier volumes. And that series is, uh, if you guys can see that, Kaguya-sama Love is War. Give me a second, I'll put this down real quick. Now in my opinion, Love is War is one of the most interesting takes at a rom-com series. I'm gonna be honest, I've had volume one of Kaguya-sama for over a year now. And I just never had the urge to continue to collect the series for now because I mean, I was watching the anime. I watched the first two seasons already and the third season was coming out. So I thought, you know what? I'll just keep watching it. And then when I really have that urge, I can just start collecting it again. But then my homies started reading it. They all read all 25 volumes that are out or something like that. And they said it was amazing. And as you guys know, Right Stuff had the vid sale. So I thought, you know what? Let me just buy a bunch of volumes off of Right Stuff at an extremely discounted price. As you guys can see, Right Stuff is just my excuse to buy more manga when I don't really need it. But yeah, I have Kaga some of volumes one through... 14 i believe over there and then 20 and 22 and to be fair even though i did buy an extreme amount of volumes of kage summer at once i am reading it daily so i'm about six volumes in at this point it's just been a blast to read and enjoy because it's been a while since i've seen the first two seasons of the anime and it's really refreshing my memory of what's happened already before i watch season three of love is war all right guys so this last series i'm actually going to be cutting in half because i bought 19 volumes of this series this month and my hands are not that big to hold all of those volumes but the reason why I want to split it in half as well is because I got these first 10 volumes at a great deal off of OfferUp. So I have right here Black Cat volumes 1 through 10. I actually found this listing randomly on OfferUp when I searched up just manga and it was at $50. So this is 10 volumes of Black Cat for about $5 a piece. And if you guys don't know, Black Cat is one of those series that are starting to get scalped out so you can check listings on like ebay and stuff and people are selling you for like 200 bucks for like 10 volumes and i thought this is 50 bucks for a series that is starting to go out of print that may already be out of print and i thought you know what it looks amazing i know i'm gonna enjoy the series 50 bucks is not a lot of money for a series like this so i decided to pull the trigger with it and i got extremely lucky at the beginning of the month and as you guys can see right here i have volumes 11 through 19 of black cat so black cat like i said is a series that I really struck gold with this past month. These volumes weren't included when I bought the first 10 volumes, but I just got lucky finding them at book offs. So my advice to you guys is if you guys are looking for a series and you can't find them online or you can't find a great deal online, go to your local book off if there is one. Go to your used bookstores because you can really strike gold in those places. Those volumes that I bought earlier were $5 a piece and that's probably one of the best deals I've ever had in my life but these books are not that much more expensive so i've got a lot of these for like six bucks 6.99 around there and that's a lot better than paying like 100 bucks for like three or four volumes online right now that about wraps up today's video thank you guys for just watching this month's otaku collection and just so you guys know i have an important announcement coming up pretty soon so make sure you guys subscribe stay tuned because you guys are going to want to hear this announcement that about wraps it up thank you guys for just tuning in Make sure you like and subscribe the video, share it with your friends and family. It really does a lot for the channel, and I'm just excited to see what we have going forward. Without further ado, it's your boy Kato Taku, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.